I V M. Hi. You're listening to IVM Daily. Welcome to another episode of IVM Daily. I am Janam Devan and with me today in the studio is Abbas Momin. Hi. He's sitting in a bathrobe with a Power Puff Girls t-shirt. <laughs> just to let you know i like <laughs> like to cross over my <laughs> fandom so i'm wearing a jedi robe with a pop of girl t-shirt interesting abbas so adam rehman who wrote to us earlier and i read out his message in a previous episode he replied to our uh, shout out on that previous episode saying hello janam ma'am i just heard the podcast of 12th april where you had mentioned me thank you so much feels good to hear my name there Also since you people talk about absolutely anything what is happening around us I want to hear your opinion on unconventional careers like how many of us want to do something very different from what the conventional standards of success is defined by how can we get out of that fear convince our parents and do what we love throughout our life to live a fulfilling life Thank you ma'am I'll still call you ma'am because you're much elder to me and I respect you <laughs> Thank you Adam for writing to us That means he heard a turning 30 episode because now he knows exactly how old you are Oh yeah And he <laughs> <laughs> Did so I mention my age on that You did yes Okay So we're talking yeah. about unconventional careers today Yes I think being a podcast producer itself is unconventional Pretty unconventional yes yeah. No but I can actually I have first hand experience in uh, uh jumping ships from a conventional career or oh. a would be conventional career to an unconventional career because I was studying to become a doctor. Okay. And um from that I went to become a freelance writer and then a oh. full on journalist and then I still do stand up so hmm. a stand up comedian and now a podcast producer. So I think apart from the doctor bit and somewhat the journalist bit all the other stuff has been pretty unconventional so i hmm. kind of get what he what adam is trying to say yeah because in india where there's absolutely no uh, any sort of preparation given to young school or college children about unconventional careers it's kind of very hmm. hard to sort of uh, pinpoint and direct people into going uh, to unconventional paths so so yeah i i kind of get do, do you have any experience with unconventional careers janam actually right from the start because um immediately after my education i knew i wouldn't i wasn't cut out for science and math and okay. the doctoring and engineering right. and lawyering so i knew i was going to be in the media space only because okay. i had taken up arts and i wanted to actually take up mass media right which i did later on so my first job was that of a writer i used to write for this company called festival shopa where uh-huh. we used to go around india i guess and yeah cover music festivals right concerts and gigs and write about artists coming down and review all these events right. so yeah but, it was but, pretty but was it did you face any sort of uh, opposition in your, at your home or by your mm, peers not at all actually okay. i thankfully my mom has been very supportive of anything i want to do she's just okay. given me the full freedom right. as long as you're not doing anything illegal <laughs> <laughs> you have my full support i you can do whatever you want because okay. you uh, obviously not you done nothing illegal in your life yeah right? of course yes i haven't <laughs> and also my mom like back in the day she had that mentality that oh my god i wasn't allowed to do so many things because right. her parents put restrictions on her and right. then she she understands that and she's just like mm. what you know she lives kind of vicariously through mm. us right now for me my father is a doctor himself which is why he wanted me to be doctor as well hmm. so i had to kind of like really fight for my uh, transition from one career to another for about almost 3 3 and a half years and i think adam also asked in the message uh, about how to go about convincing your parents. relatives parents yeah. uh so in my case i can speak from my experiences while i was studying dentistry in bangalore hmm and i wasn't interested in it which is why i wasn't really doing that well in the academic part of it but what i did was i started writing humor articles on my own and sending them across to newspapers and magazines okay but and when you were in school were you academically inclined like why would you were you like i was very oh. good in english i was very good in uh, social studies okay. i was terrible at math oh. 
सो एनी काइंड ऑफ सब्जेक्ट दैट रिक्वायर्ड इमेजिनेशन और राइटिंग आई वुड बी गुड एट बट द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द ब्रेन विच इज मोर विद स्टेटिस्टिक्स एंड नंबर्स एंड ऑल दैट लाइक इकोनॉमिक्स मैथ्स केमिकल इक्वेशन एंड ऑल आई फाउंड इट रियली रियली टेरेबल आई वॉज रियली टेरेबल एडेड सो या वाइल आई वॉज स्टार्टिंग डेंटिस्ट्री इन बैंगलोर आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग आर्टिकल एंड सेंडिंग नम आउट एंड दे एक्चुअली स्टार्ट गेटिंग पब्लिश्ड सो एंड माई फादर एक्चुअली सॉ दैट ही इज राइटिंग आर्टिकल्स विच आर गुड इनफ टू बी पब्लिश्ड बाय मैगजीन एंड न्यूज पेपर्स देन ही थॉट मे बी दैट समथिंग विच ही कैन डू विद इट सो इन वॉट एवर यू वे यू कैन ट्राई एंड प्रूफ टू योर पेरेंट्स दैट यू एक्चुअली good at it. what you want to do and yeah. you'll be good at it because your interest lies there so right. obviously they'll see that passion that you have for it yeah so, and i would also add that uh, along with the passion that you have for whatever you want to pursue in the future uh, i would say there's no substitute for hard work right so whatever you want to do in life just uh-huh. make sure you 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 know slog your ass off yeah, and yeah it's true just make your mark in any field yeah and also uh, don't get disheartened by uh, criticisms because mm-hmm. even now when i do stand up every literally every day people will say something and they will be like hey you can use this in your stand up because they mm-hmm. think it's a very easy thing they don't really think much hard work or effort goes into it mm-hmm. uh, so people still don't get what a creative or an offbeat profession is i'm sure same applies for DJs or uh, you know bakers or cooks or chefs where yeah. people don't really think that there's much research hmm. or much hard work that goes into it so don't let that bring you down uh, try and explain it to people in the most simplest of terms what you do requires as much hmm. hard work as an engineer or a doctor or a lawyer uh, that you're as committed to your uh, craft as they are yeah uh, and and just keep uh, paving your own way i think that's just take each day at, at a time if you're doing an offbeat uh, career okay so uh, while we are talking about this we also stumbled upon a website and an app called grades don't matter so it's india's very first online alternative educational platform so if you go on this website you mm. will see it's kind of like put together a master class by stand up comedians and photographers right. and filmmakers uh-huh. um and they are they're, they're pretty well known people who yeah. are giving these little master classes yeah so if you you know you can go on the website it's called www.gradesdontmatter.in have a look at what they have to offer there's there's a bunch of videos and these people are talking about how like all the challenges they faced and right. just basic tips of how you can get your career right. in that particular profession started so yeah check it out and let us yeah. know what you think and if you want to pursue an alternate career or are already pursuing it yeah. share your story with us let us know yes please we'd love to know your story as well okay so that's a wrap on today's episode uh, before we go we'd like to tell you about a live podcast we are recording today at we work bkc we are celebrating the 50th episode of shunya one which is a show hosted by sheila ditya and amit it's about tech and entrepreneurship and everything about businesses so come by check it out we can get you on the guest list if you want you can yep. check out our facebook page to uh, get on the guest list we have provided the link there yep the panel discussion starts at around 6:30 if i'm not wrong yeah, so if you're listening to this 6:30 today if you're listening to this at any time before 6 o'clock run over to bkc and uh, come attend the we work shunya 150 at the episode live recording and yeah come say hi to us yeah you'll find a lot of offbeat uh, career path <laughs> people there as well <laughs> yeah. so you can take some tips from them so that's a wrap for today you can tweet to us using the hashtag ivm daily our twitter handle is at the rate ivm podcast it's also the same on instagram and facebook you can reach out to me on twitter i am at the rate janam divan and i am at abbas momin on twitter and i'm abbas momin 88 on instagram awesome see you tomorrow He bends down to test the warm water for his bath. He comes here to quench his thirst for a hot shower and some podcasts. You can witness how he enjoys having other people talk about cool stuff in his bathroom. Indeed, it helps him with his loneliness. You can find more of his species on ivmpodcast.com.
your one-stop destination where you can check out the coolest Indian podcasts. Happy listening.